It's January 20, 2023. This is the Room Now podcast. Hi, I'm Jack Cush with Room Now, bringing you nothing but good news from the world of rheumatology. This week, two studies on GCA and PMR that are interesting. One study looked at ultrasound and its diagnostic utility in 47 newly diagnosed patients with GCA. Uh, and it showed that 44 out of 47 actually had a positive ultrasound to help diagnose the condition. Moreover, ultrasound was sensitive to change and could help monitor patients such that it could predict relapse or remission in the future. Many of you are doing ultrasound. It's the way to go. An international survey of GPs and rheumatologists, a very large number, looked at what happens to PMR patients. And in this cohort, newly diagnosed PMR or suspected PMR by the GP was only referred to the rheumatologist 25% of the time. When they were referred to the rheumatologist, you, the rheumatologist, only sent them back to the GP half the time. You should be managing PMR, polymyalgia rheumatica, if you're a rheumatologist, uh, and not sending them back to the primary care doctor. And then you should also be letting the world know that this is something that you're expert at. Another new study looked at the um, elevation of uric acid in a longitudinal Swedish cohort showing that, and these are not gout patients, these are patients um, who are just being followed for cardiovascular risk factors. And in this study, if you had an elevated uric acid, you had an increased risk of future atrial fibrillation. This is many, many patients followed over a long period of time and showed basically a dose-dependent increase in uric acid led to an, uh, a 10 to 45% increase in atrial fibrillation. Interesting. Two studies um, that we talked about this week in, on the podcast also look at the uh, risk of, of mortality in patients with psoriatic arthritis. The good news is one study shows no increased risk compared to the general population. The other risk study shows also the same. Let's go back to the first study. While no increase in the, compared to the general population for psoriatic arthritis, turns out that psoriatic arthritis patients during the pandemic had a doubling of their mortality risk saying a lot about what went wrong during the pandemic. The second study showed that AS patients had an increased risk of mortality overall, and PSA patients didn't overall, but there were some subsets within PSA. Women who had comorbidities like infections or cancer or cardiovascular, they tend to have more um, uh, a higher risk of death in the future. That's it for this week's podcast. Why don't you watch the whole thing on roomnow.com or our YouTube channel? Bye, folks.